friends. Today we are going to be doing a piece of art called an embellished photo. For an embellished photo you'll need things like yarn, if you have little sequins or sparkles, any coloring tools, like I'm going to be using some of these kind of thicker Posca pens, but you can also use crayons, markers, glitter glue, paint, anything you want to do to decorate a photo. Now Fuzz, naturally, is always here whenever I'm using yarn, you guys know that. But also, ironically, today, guess who the subject of my photo is? It's Fuzz! So I'm going to be using a printed black and white photo on a piece of paper, but if you can't print a photo and you have a photo already that you can use, for example, something a little bit smaller, you can embellish an already pre-done photo. Of course, make sure you get permission if it's one that you can actually decorate. So what you're going to do is select or find some sort of image that you would like to embellish and turn into a piece of art. It's especially fun if it's a photo that you've actually taken yourself. I took this one of Fuzz when he was sitting and taking a little nap. Kind of like it looks like he's gonna do right here. He needs to supervise anything remotely related to yarn. So once you've gathered your materials, then I'll show you how we can do things like stitching or gluing or attaching things to an already done photo to turn it into a beautiful piece of art. Now, I did want to mention that this style of artwork is inspired by an artist that I've seen named Victoria Biasana. And she is an artist that works out of Mexico and is inspired by the cultures and diversity of people and really looks to see that she can tell a story through how she embellishes their photos. She primarily uses yarn in her work and loves to leave the ends uncut, like a story being told and it's not completely finished. So she has a lot of beautiful symbolism in her work and it's an awesome way for us to take something that already exists, like a photo, and turn that into a piece of art by adding details on top. Now, so as hopefully you join us for the mantra, we're going to make sure we're super strong and ready for art today by doing our mantra together. Here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Okay, artist, hey, that's not yours. <laughs> Gather your materials and then we will get started embellishing our photos. For this project, you're going to need to collect a lot of stuff. So whether you're working with primarily yarn, whether you're working with things like glitter glue, or you're doing different paintings on top, you can kind of edit what you'd like to include to embellish your photo. But remember, you will need to think a little bit first before you just get started. So I know that I'd like to use a lot of yarn on my portrait because I think that's going to be very representative of what Fuzz loves. And I'm going to be thinking about how I can fill my background space. Victoria loves to work a lot on the actual subject matter of her work so she might even sew right on top of the cat or the person or the individual in her picture. But for my project, I'm going to work on the background because I have a lot of extra space there. So we can kind of take inspiration from Victoria's style and use it to make our own beautiful piece of work. Now, if you're using primarily yarn, I'm going to be using a needle today because I'm pretty comfortable with that. But if you've never sewn before, either see if someone can help you or you can simply just do a line of glue and glue some yarn along the top so you don't even have to sew. But for some some of my yarn I'm going to try and sew it on so that I know it's really securely attached. So for that one I'm just going to simply poke through the back. So I'm going to have these rays kind of coming out from fuzz here. So I'm going to poke through the back so I know where that is like this and this paper is really easy to go through. And then I'm going to pull my yarn, hold my paper, and go to the top. So remember, as the artist, you can make shapes, designs, lines to completely fill your page of your embellished photo. Or if you're using not a printed photo, but an actual photo, you might just need to press a little bit harder to get a needle or something to go through the photo. Remembering that really this has a lot of opportunity to edit or change the way something's done, knowing that you can glue or maybe you can staple your yarn on, or perhaps you're just gonna lay the pieces on top and then take it apart. So I'm gonna keep working on this red color and I'll be attaching the yarn to Fuzz's background of the photo. As you can see, the sewing takes a little bit longer than gluing. If I were to just cut 
and glue pieces of yarn on that would give me a very similar effect but I like to do it a little bit more to the original way that Victoria would work um, but you get to decide what makes sense for you so I'm gonna be using a few more colors might do some different rays maybe some shorter stitches and try to completely fill this background so my plan is to embellish the background of my photo with yarn and then I'm gonna use some of my sparkly somethings is what I call them my sparkly somethings down low to maybe give fuzz some sort of like really elegant sparkly blanket that he's on or maybe the um, stool that he's sitting on something to really bring some attention down low so I'm gonna finish adding multiple different kinds of colors with the yarn to my embellished portrait artist I'm not gonna lie that took a bit longer than a typical art project we do together but I kind of love the results it is super detailed and I could even keep going with the yarn but quite honestly I needed to just move on with the lesson so I think adding way more yarn in here would be really cool um, and kind of uh, the same sort of inspiration where you can really fill your space now eventually I'm going to put a kind of thicker cardstock paper on the back of this or a piece of cardboard just so it doesn't keep curling up around the edges so if you notice that happening you can totally do a backing to it at the end and of course if you're just gluing pieces of yarn on top instead of sewing them on then it probably won't curl in the same way that mine is now the final step is to do some other embellishments so I've added the yarn details and I'm going to do two more things I'm using these thicker markers that I'm gonna color over the plant and then I'm also going to do some kind of like sparkly details down low so that's just gonna be glued on with Elmer's glue but again you can kind of look around and see what you have around you that you think would be really cool to embellish. Could I stop here? Sure. Could I just color? Awesome. Could I do crayon? Absolutely. Remember, there are different ways to embellish depending on what you think would be a cool representation of um, your own artistic style. So I'm going to finish adding my final details. a long one but I really love the results it is kind of this eclectic mix of drawing and yarn and sparkles and really whatever I could find of course Fuzz probably has opinions about it I think he's more into like the glitter dance party that's happening here he always just seems to supervise and is less concerned about the final product. Anyways, so this embellished photo can be a really fun way for you to practice your creativity without having any specific way that it needs to look at the end. So we're going to end with a little mindful meditation. So I'm going to challenge you to just do three deep breaths, breaths, one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, and we're going to take those three strong deep breaths. Okay, here we go. it simple today. So my friends, I can guarantee this one is going on the fridge. Right, Buzz? Nothing. All right, my friends, remember, you are amazing, you are strong, you are resilient, and I love you. We will see you next time.